Attach the suction cup to the servo motor. Make sure the hose barb is in the opposite direction to the connection of the servo motor. Tighten the two adjusting screws of the suction cup with an Allen key. Mount a double clip to the cable visible at the elbow of the robot arm. Secure the end clip and the double clip to the booster bar, tighten the rod into the threads on the clamping frame. Mount a clip to the servo motor. Mount the servo motor to the end of the robot arm. Push the green plug into the first port at the top of the arm. Now you can turn on the robotic arm. Hold the arm in a convenient position and press the on button. The arm's motors are now powered so the arm stays in its position. Feed the air hose through the clips and push the air hose over the hose barb. Establish a connection between the robot arm and Dobot Studio by clicking the connect button. When the connection is successful, press the home button. Then click the plus point button. A line appears with the current X, Y and Z coordinates and the angle of the servo motor. Adjust the value to X equals 240, Y equals 0, Z equals 0 and R equals 0. Right click on the line and choose set home. This position is now the newly set home position. Right click on the line again and choose run selected so that the robot arm moves to the home position. The hose barb should point in line with the robot arm in this position. If not, the suction cup must be twisted. Now that everything is in the right place, the robotic arm can take any position, without the hose getting in the way of movement.